carries over here into game two of the series tonight. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Good use of the body on the play. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Moves it to Erickson. And that goes off a body. Scrum along the boards. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Heroic. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Shakes off the coverage. Takes lines, come on. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Sends the pass over. Turns it away. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Minnesota's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Myers. Tries to get the puck to Pedersen. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Sprong. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Hartman. Vancouver's got the puck here in the open ice. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Susie. Taken along the wall by Myers. And some good footwork to kick it away. Slides the puck over to Boyd. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Canucks take it along the wall. Passes it over! Scores! James, the credit always goes to the goal scorer, but how about this beautiful deke and gift of a pass? I mean, knowing how to draw the coverage to you, that is creativity at its finest. Vancouver's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Dayarnay. Shuts him down. Through center along the wing. Nice point check inside the attacking zone. Huge hit in the corner. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Gives them nothing in front. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. So lots of time left here in this frame. The Canucks lead it 1-0. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Dishes it to Gaunt. Throws it in. Vancouver's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Suter. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sherwood. Puck scooped up by Bogosian. Moves it to Trinan. And that goes wide. And he hangs on to the puck. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Quick pass across to Suter. Slides the puck over. Sherwood's gaining momentum. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Great save by Gustafson. Back to the point it goes. Oh, and a ball and hit right there. Uh, certainly was. He scores! What a finish! Well, he explodes into that one-timer. It's a perfect setup, and he's in wonderful position.
position, gets a perfect rotation and buries it. Everyone is so focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. You can see the frustration on the coach behind the bench here. His team didn't come ready to play and nothing he says or does makes a difference right now. The Canucks are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they've talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Pump picked up by Brody. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Tries it to the crease. Scores! G.T. Miller puts it home. Puck comes off his stick so fast the goalie can't get a read on it. It's in the back of the net. The Canucks are dominating in almost every facet of. first. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Big play inside the defensive zone. Picked up along the way by Besser. The Canucks take possession in the neutral zone. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Quick feed to Myers. Into the offensive end now. Myers setting up against the wall. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Turn that one aside. Right up the gut onto the offensive end. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. The Canucks move it ahead. Takes a shot. That's blocked. And it's a quick pass to Boldy. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Canucks will play it in their own end. And the puck's kick free. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And now it's over to Pedersen. Centering feed! Barney comes up with a stop. Grabbed along the board by Hartman. Couldn't pass to Boldy. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. Makes some space. Stars! And look who's on it again. They are really turning up the heat. Well, uh, so creative and free. And the reason why you can play free because you're playing with a ton of confidence. Not afraid to put the puck to the net and, of course, retrieve it. Gotta love this goal. I mean, he's got the defender just twisted like a pretzel as he's manipulating and showing those silky mitts and then finally puts it away. It's obvious that the coach is visibly frustrated after that last goal. I mean, they just keep deflating as this game goes on, and they can't figure out a way to get out of it. The coach has to pull some punches, make some adjustments to see if he can get his team back in it. Vancouver's brought their A game here to the rink tonight. They lead it comfortably as we near the end of the first. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck. Feeds it all over to Farrell. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Just a little too much contact. He couldn't hang on to the puck. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this bar tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building. 
building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket, and if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there, but you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James.
position along the boards. Has some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Shot! And that's stopped by Demko. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Canucks have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. They win the draw and go on the attack. Oh, there's a great stop by Demko. Denies him again. Demko's been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. But he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. Rossi's won the draw there on the attack. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Strong swooping in on the attack. And he's ready for that save. Here's a short pass to Rossi. Gain momentum up along the side. Sends the feet in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Here's an off man rush. Fantastic save. Quick feed down low. Great pressure on the offensive end by Strong. Oh, trouble saved by Flurry. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Vancouver's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Caprizov's got it into offensive territory. The Canucks look to start the transition game. With the steal. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. And he's going to cover up the puck and get a whistle. That's a great read by the goaltender to hold on, James. They were under siege in their own zone. Now they have an opportunity to reset, refocus, and get back on their horse. The Canucks have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. Oh, just a great heads up play by Joshua. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Shot! Can't get it to go. Takes the puck but still hangs on to the puck. Big time stop there. Caprizov's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Receives the pass. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Vancouver's on the attack. And he takes the dish. Scores! And with authority at that. Cheddar, I mean, that one goes off the bar and in. That was an unbelievable release. For the shooter, he gets a lucky break here. All he's trying to do is get that puck off quickly under pressure, and he does, and it goes bar down and into the net. Possession in their own end. 
picked up along the wall by DeBrusk. And now he tries to get it across to Miller. Broken up by Middleton. Oh, stepping up in the physicality department here. Well, it's about time, James. This team has been in a lull all game, a reason why they're getting blown out. But they found a way, a little spark plug right here with that huge hit. Angles it over to Hartman. Minnesota's moving the puck through center ice. Slides it diagonally to Middleton. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save in front. A chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Nice job tying up his opponent. Breaking through center, they go on the attack. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Middleton's got on the offensive end. Great heads up play with the stick by Cece. Oh, a clutch save! You see goaltenders working with traffic and practice all of the time, and the goaltender is able to find this because he's dialed in, his eyes are on the puck, and he doesn't lose sight of it. Moves it to Eric Sanek. The Canucks have dominated possession in this game. They've just worn down their opponent by possessing the puck. And really, they've been first on it. They've been heavy on it. They've been physical. They've done everything right. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Here's a chance. question about it. He retrieves his nose is in on it, and then he has a knack for the net to finish it off. Minnesota's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they've got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in it. It all starts with execution, though, James, and you have to play physical. Loves to park into the offensive zone corner. Covers the shot, and the goaltender manages to get a pat on that one. To the attacking area. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. Slides it across. Oh, great save here. Oh, and another save. Vancouver's offense has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Gains the zone on the left wing. Passes it over. Takes a shot. Big time stop there. Oh, spectacular save on the play. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Pass the puck away. Can't keep. Oh, he's got a chance. On a breakaway. Oh, the eyes on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Quick shot. Snagged with the glove by Flurry. Vancouver's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. The Canucks win the draw. Just line. Big save right at the end. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. 
Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Minnesota's got to get the puck, James. I mean, if we're in Raymond's turn, one, you got to get the puck. Two, you got to score. They're not doing either. And he loses control here. Quick feed to Besser. Vancouver's looking to break out. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Quick pass to Hughes. Vancouver's got him along the wall. Handles the puck. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Shot! Gets a piece of it and will play on. What a great read breaking up the pass. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Besser. Dishes it to Susie. Here's a short pass to Besser. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Brodeen. Takes the feed. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Pedersen. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. And the players whistle dead. Here's the call. On this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Wilds have taken possession along the wall. And it's kicked away. Looks to pass it to Boldy. Handles the pass. Takes the pass in front. around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. The Wild have got one back here in the third, but they need a lot more. Yeah, a lot more, James. They'll need to have quick shifts. You know this is all about resetting and finding ways to end the game with good habits. Prepare yourself for the next one. Minnesota's won it, and he slides it quickly to Johansson. And he takes the pass. Shot! Comes up with the stop. Demko's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night, a reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save, it's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Dishes it off! Moves it quickly over to Faber. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Tries to feed it over to Strong. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. Moves it tight. Turned aside with the glove by Fleury. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Vancouver's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Patterson's won the face. They score! And what a counter punch they serve up. Wow, you said it counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this. This quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. The Canucks continue to attack the net here at period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. But in all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James, have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the boldness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Vancouver's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Moves it to Goudreau. Fires it on that. To the result of the one-timer save. Wow! Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Oh, good time hit there. Well, it's hard enough 
when you're on the receiving end of a hit like that, James, and it's even worse when you got to collect your trade. Moves the puck. Trends into the offensive zone now on the attack. Keeps a hold of it on the play. And that one's turned away. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the post -hit. He got all of that one. Levels him with the hit. Quick feed to Brodeen. Gets it over to Kaprizov. They gain the zone from the left side. Dumps the puck in. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. Miller has been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the hottie. Minnesota's across the blue line. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to DeBrusk. Takes the feed. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Keeps it over. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he takes the feed. Oh, the reaction! Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. Vancouver's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. And that tears off a body in traffic. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Vancouver's ahead in this game because of their layered approach, and you can only have a layered approach when you have three lines that are firing, and in particular, the third line that is showing some great scoring depth there, producing and the reason why they're in the lead. Here they come on the attack. Coming to the front of the net, they score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row. Beautiful finish, but I'm telling you, he's got to go over to his teammate and say thank you very much for that beautiful pass. I mean, it was placed perfectly on his stick. He didn't have much time to react, but he could collect it, and he found a way to put it home. The Canucks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and up and we'll get a face off. The Canucks have definitely used the shoot first mentality and look at the score here late. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He slides it across. Knocks it away with the stick. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Canucks are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night long, and they continue to lead late in the third. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. They put the puck into the offensive end. Loose puck battle along the boards. Picked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. And they'll dump it in. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. Look at this! And that's cooked away by Myers. And the puck's booted away. Grabbed along the boards by Brodeen. Passes it over!
And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's through center and now in the offensive end. Too much traffic in the lane. Right up the gut, here they go. Sprong's got it along the wing. And the centering feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Quick pass to Sprong. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Vancouver's in transition. The Canucks play it along the wing. It is never easy when the home fans turn on you, but they've got no one to blame for themselves with this performance tonight. Slides the puck over. It is all over. Now up 2-0 in the series. Cheryl, how do you assess the performance so far? Well, I think it's been excellent. You come into a series, you got to find ways to get wins, and they've done just that. They've had good habits, they've had good structure. And to be truthful, I mean, the opponent's been chasing the game. 